Hello everyone, welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So my name is Samantha and I am making this video because I would like the world to know that we were demonetized in March, okay? In March, the month of February, we were not demonetized. We were still part of the partnership program through so YouTube. I'm making this video because, because I feel like YouTube stole from us. And let me tell you a little bit of back history. We obviously are homesteaders, which you all know is a lifestyle that is currently under attack. They like, they like to group us together, call us, you know, right leaning Christian nationalist. We're crunchy. That's our new word. We have videos on that. They leave out the fact that there are a lot of Latino and black influencers who also live this lifestyle. Like it's a very popular lifestyle to grow your own food, secure your own meat, homeschool your babies, right? So here is the point of this video. We finished February out. We should have gotten paid today like we always did on the 21st day of the following month for February, almost $1,300. It was what we made on YouTube for just the month of February. They did not pay us. Now I understand. They decided for this reason, the reuse of content inappropriately, good one YouTube, to demonetize us like March 9th. I get that. So we don't get paid for the days after we're not in the partnership program. But what about February? I was legally working and partnering with YouTube for the entire month of February. And we legally fairly made 1,200 and I think it was $86 and some change. Where's that money? So here's, here's the reason I made this video. <clears throat> A lot of people are, you wanna say hi? <laughs> A lot of people are beginning to make YouTube videos and thinking about being an influencer. It's a lot of work, you guys. It takes a toll on you because you will have people that love you and you will have people that hate you. And you have to have very thick skin, very thick skin, because there's always that group of people who are gonna float your channel trying to make you miserable. That's literally like all they do all day. So you need to be someone that's a positive person, someone that can come up with unique and and well, hot topics that people are going to hit on because there's 7 billion people in the world. A lot of people, a lot of creators. But did you guys know that less than like 3% of all creators on the YouTube platform ever actually make money off of it? Which means 97% do not. Right about the point where they're going to get enough subscribers or they're going to have enough watch time hours, they stop putting out content because it normally takes about 16 months to hit that milestone. So if you're a normal everyday person and you're gonna start making content, you can look at about 16 months before you ever receive a payment for your unique content that you yourself are making. I'll tell you guys the truth, and I have said this before. I personally feel like YouTube took us out of the partnership program using the reuse of content inappropriately because that's very broad. It's very broad, okay? That was one person's decision. I think they did it because we're Christians. We're conservative. We really ask people to get involved in local elections. We discuss political content here. I discuss a lot of content that people simply don't agree with me on. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Because, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Because we all have our own opinions. But the way they caught me up was, I'm very good at clipping in what I'm talking about. As in proving to you that someone actually said something or that they did something. 
So, because I'm all about proof. That's the educator in me. I cannot help it. So, I just wanted to put it out there to the universe, to you guys, to the world. Be careful. They will find any reason at all to take your money. They did it to Lou Valentino. They totally, with no strikes, no warnings, deplatformed um, the Common Sense Show. They have now removed our money. No strikes on board. No warning. Just boop. Mm -mm. You're not going to be in our partnership program. And when they did that, we had already, it was like March 9th, we had already hit $800 for the month of March. Which means, had we been monetized throughout the entire month of March, we probably would have had a paycheck close to three grand. So that's the kind of money that they removed from our family, our farmstead, and from the children in the community that we help with. Because when they took our money, they took God's money. Because I tie 10% of every dollar that walks in the door before I pay taxes on it. Yes, baby, go get you something to drink. Oh, you need me to help? I can do that, come on. <laughs> hot chips, dude, hot. <laughs> we don't just tie it to our church. That money comes back to our economy, our local economy. If you know anything about St. Helena Parish, Southeast Louisiana, where I live, it's bad, you guys. The poverty out here is almost 30%. Our kids are in a failing school system, which is why we are opening up a private Montessori school through our church to get these kids out of the public school system, which is a total failure here. Like millions of dollars have been invested and they're doing nothing. They built a new football field. Are you kidding me? How racial is that? You know, our, it's 96% black children in this school. And you put $2 million into a football field and they can't read? Don't get me started. Anyway, telling you guys this because I want you to be aware. One, if you're going to put your time and your energy into building a platform on YouTube, your money's not really yours. Two, a lot of states are putting out legislation to stop this. What happened to us? Florida and Texas are the ones that come to mind, but you might want to look into it in your area. Has your state put out legislation where they can't do this to you? Free speech platforms. That's what social media is actually supposed to be, but it isn't. So if you get onto a topic that they are not comfortable with, they're going to demonetize you. And we all know that all of the social media platforms, except possibly Rumble and X, are left-leaning, ADL-backed platforms. So be aware of that. We built almost a 46,000 subscriber following in less than two years. And just like that. It was all gone. So if you guys would like to support what we do here with our Food for Thought campaign, because we're growing that quarter acre and we're giving it away free to our community, the money that we're tithing and the offerings that we give will help build that private school so that baby doesn't go to a school where there was a shooting and a killing, which did happen last year in October, where that baby goes to a school where he can learn to read and football isn't the number one thing that he's taught. I'll never get over that. Do what? It's, it's dead. See? Okay, well, go plug it back in then, boo boo. Are you tricking me? Oh, I see it. Is you trick? You is tricking me again. I can't, I can't see it. Well, it probably is going dead. So you do probably need to plug it up. It's starting to rain anyway. We're gonna go inside and do do some right. homework and stuff. I'm not, I'm not. So when you support our platform, you're actually supporting our entire community. Because then I'm able to hire people from my community and pay them cash. You heard me cash. I said it. I don't care. So that that money floats back through bringing up everybody in our community. As one person is pulled out of poverty, it is a beautiful thing to watch. You know? So 
God bless you guys. You can drop Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal. We would greatly appreciate it. But I did want to tell you, I didn't say anything at first. I literally just waited to see what they were going to do because I Googled that question. If I was deplatformed, or not deplatformed, if, if I was demonetized through the partnership program, would I still get the month before? Like, I was part of their partnership program. We had an agreement. Shouldn't I get my money? And nobody could actually answer that question for me. Well, I can answer that question for you. If you are demonetized from YouTube, you will not get any money that's owed to you. When I'm not sure how that's legal, and you guys know me, maybe there'll be legislation in Louisiana soon. Maybe there's an attorney watching this that can help me out with my case. Who knows? God bless you guys. Thank you for being here. I wasn't actually going to do a video today, you guys. I went and dropped off my taxes, but God was so good. Let me tell you what happened. Had people come do a tour, they bought some manure. Had somebody else come from Baton Rouge who literally got into a wreck on the way here and totaled his vehicle, but he still came. That's only God. Got his manure. No. What, baby? Okay, I'm coming. Had another couple come through buy five bags of manure. Had another lady come by a mushroom log. And just now, out of the blue, another person called and said, hey, I want some rabbit manure. So God's got me, but it is a little frustrating. Imagine if you had worked an entire month, all of February, in an agreed contract with a company. They liked the business they did with you. They end the month, they say, hey, we owe you $1,280 something dollars and some change you can look for that march 21st march 21st rolls around and they decided mid-march that they you know aren't going to work with you like that anymore but don't they still owe me the money that they owe me great minds would like to know god bless you guys talk to you later please like comment and subscribe and share this video the more people that see it maybe just maybe i'll wake up in the morning with all my money in my account